So I'm gonna need a little bit of help supercharging today. BB-8, a little help. As you see, sentry mode is activated and I do not have a uh, memory card installed to record anything. So this is only just an alarm system uh, that's not going to record anything that uh, you know for you to look at but it will at least scare people off and if you were to try to open the door it would blast the stereo really loud uh, just to scare off uh, would-be thieves hey there welcome back to because tesla my name is eric and today i'm going to be talking about sentry mode and particularly why you shouldn't use a regular usb stick to record your videos so to listen to mp3s or any other type of audio files in your Tesla, you can use whatever type of USB stick you want. I've got this Samsung that uh, I like just because of the size, it's really small, and it holds 256 gigs in this tiny little package. Uh, this is what the packaging looks like. Um, it is a USB 3.1, uh, which doesn't really matter because the Tesla has USB 2.0 ports uh, underneath the uh, little cubby area that you stick these in. Uh, just so you know, for those who aren't too technical with uh, how gadgets and things work, USB is going to, the different, main difference between USB 2 and 3 and 3.1, it's usually a speed uh, as far as the read and the write. Well. The USB 2 is going to be backwards compatible uh, with all the other USBs. So you can put a USB 3 device into a USB 2 and it'll be fine. The only thing that you need to know about that is just because your device says that it's USB 3 and it advertises a certain speed, it's only going to read the speed of the port that you stick it in. So unfortunately for us, Tesla has decided to go with USB 2. So the whatever device you plug into that, it's only going to go as fast as the speeds of the USB um, spec. So for, for USB 2. So you don't need to worry about the speeds as much. For audio, this is fine. For video though, and particularly uh, dash cam type of video where it is constantly reading and writing and writing over and over and over again you don't want to use something like this because these wear out really quick every time that you write to uh, one of these little NAND flash type of devices it sends an electric charge to those cells and after so many cycles of that those cells just die and that, that's why you'll eventually lose data uh, that's stored on these things and they'll fail after so many years or how, or so many uses Depending on how often you use it. Well with dash cams and sentry mode It's going to be writing and overriding itself all the time So what is recommended is to use one of these micro SD cards Particularly what you want to look for is something that says endurance or high endurance anywhere on there endurance. Uh, I picked this one. This is the one that's got the, the best reviews so far as far as endurance cards, the Samsung Pro Endurance. Uh, nothing but good reviews for this one. So this is a good one. I think Transcend also makes one that's uh, an endurance card that's getting pretty good reviews. The main thing you want to look for is that it says endurance. So some of the main differences between a regular SD card and an endurance card, uh, it's really the type of the design of the card itself. These are, these are NAND flash memory cards and the cheaper cards are gonna be a TLC NAND which they basically um, stick a lot of data into each little cell and uh, it, it just causes it to wear out a lot quicker if you keep overriding it. 
Uh, the endurance cards though are MLC NAND and it you can put less data in each little cell and it won't damage as quickly. Another benefit of the endurance is the uh, temperature range basically this is a temperature proof uh, right here that uh, is a pretty good idea if you're going to keep this in a car where it's going to get really cold in the winter and really hot in the summer you don't want the temperature to destroy the data on your flash card here. So that's one thing that's uh, really good with these. Also just the endurance is built for you know video monitoring as you can see right here. It's built to be overwritten so many times uh, a lot more than one of these guys. Also these are just a lot more rugged in general. They're uh, water resistant, they're shock proof, they're x-ray proof, uh, magnet proof, um, it's just a more durable card, it's going to last you a lot longer and it doesn't cost a whole lot more than a, one of the regular ones. Um, make sure you buy from a reputable seller, don't buy off eBay, don't buy off AliExpress. Uh, there's a lot of Chinese knockoffs for a lot of these brands, so make sure you buy from a reputable, reputable source and uh, you shouldn't have a problem. So how do you get one of these cards to fit into the USB port of your Tesla? Well, you're gonna need an adapter. I went with this SanDisk and this is basically, again, it says USB 3, but the cost between a USB 3 and a USB 2 of any of these devices uh, it's minimal. There's there's really no difference in cost now. The the costs of USB 3s come down so much in the last year itself that it's kind of ridiculous. Um, so always go with like a USB 3. That way the USB 2 port will read it as fast as it can. If you buy this in a USB 2, it's that's fine. It's going to work great, but uh, it may be a tad bit slower as far as read and write speed. With the 3, you'll at least be guaranteed the fastest rate that the USB 2 port will read it at. So, you take out this little guy here, we're going to put him inside this, and that's how the car will read your flash card. Alright, so these are just a size difference here. This is the Samsung uh, regular USB for my music and this is going to be for the dash cam. So basically you take your little micro uh, SD card and it slides into the back of this uh, adapter. Like, like that. And now you're ready to go. So now you need to format your drive into the FAT32 format. If you're using a newer version of Windows, anything past Windows XP, um, you're not going to be able to do it natively within Windows. You have to download a third-party formatter. Uh, I'm using uh, one that's just called uh, FAT32 Formatter. Just found it for free off the internet. And this lets you name the, the drive, allocate the file size, and format it into FAT32. So once you've got that saved, um, you can now open the drive and create a new folder and you're going to want to name it Tesla Cam and you need to capitalize the T and the C and it's just one word run together, Tesla Cam. This is where all the files are going to be saved from your dash cam and from sentry mode. Make sure you eject the uh, drive before you pull it out of your computer and if you're a Mac user you just go to your uh, utilities folder and find your disk utility select your drive hit erase and then you're going to select MS-DOS FAT you can name it whatever you want right there you can name it Tesla anything you want uh, that will just format this into the FAT32 uh, format. You just hit erase and it will format it into that and then all you do is create your folder, name it Tesla Cam, and you'll be good to go. 
Okay, so now that I have my USB uh, sticks all configured here, it's ready to install into the car. So on the Model 3, the uh, two USB ports in the front are located right here and right here. These are the ones that uh, actually use data uh, and you can, like I said, you can have one configured for your music files and another one for your uh, dash cam. Uh, they also will charge cell phones and if you have a wireless uh, charge pad, it'll, it'll charge that as well. However, uh, in the back of the car, we also have two USB ports here. These do not transfer any data. These are only for power, uh, so you can charge a cell phone or tablet or, or whatever device you have. So I use the uh, Samsung USB for my music files. Uh, this is 256 gigs, so it's got you know more than enough space for every album that I own. So I usually put that in the first slot here. And for the second slot, I'm going to install the dash cam um, SD card. So going to go right there okay and now this icon pops up that now that we have it inserted and that is your dash cam this is going to be your sentry mode there's your dash cam so to enable both of those you just tap it I got it there okay so now there's a red light on sentry mode that turns that on and for the dash cam you're going to tap it once and it also turns red that means it is going to be recording dash cam video now if you get into any kind of accident or need to record something as you're driving just tap on it once more and it will download that to uh, a separate file that doesn't get written over. It, it saves it to a different file in that Tesla Cam folder that you created. And it is a permanent file that you can save uh, for later use. Um, now one thing important to note, uh, just as we ejected the drive from the computer when we were formatting that drive, it's always a good idea to do the same thing when you um, remove it from your Tesla. So before you just uh, yank that out, uh, you want to pause the recording, and that'll just make sure you don't corrupt any files when you remove the, the drive. The way you pause it is you just hold on the button there for the dash cam for a couple seconds, and that red light will go gray, and that means it's not recording and it's stopped and it'll be safe. So let me go ahead and do that now. Okay, watch it turn gray. There you go. So the red light turned off. That means it is ready to remove. So I can remove it here. And if I need to put in a charging cable for my phone, I can plug it in either one of these. Uh, or you can get a hub or a splitter to, you know, split the signal uh, between the two just to give you some more options there. Uh, I saw that uh, Jetta just released a new charging uh type of USB dock down here that looks pretty interesting. So we might be checking that out in the near future. Uh, also looking into getting a wireless charging pad. This is just the regular one that comes with the car. So um, yeah, there's all sorts of options with these. Now once you have everything plugged in, just go up to your screen here and you're gonna go to safety and security and sentry mode. I've got mine already turned on and uh, I've got it excluding my home. That way it doesn't go off when I'm you know at home. Uh, it'll just uh, be on sentry mode when I'm anywhere else. So the three cameras that sentry mode actually uses to record with are going to be the side cameras here on each side, this one and on the passenger side, as well as the front camera, which is right here. 
And once you're ready to view your videos, you just uh, eject that USB stick and put it in a computer. Um, that's where the files will be saved in that folder that you just created. And um, there are different apps you can download uh, either on your smartphone or even on your desktop computer that will put the files together where it makes sense, uh, where all three cameras are together so you don't have to search through all the different files and um, just makes things a lot easier. I think in future updates though, Tesla will be able to make this viewable from the center screen, but as of right now, you're not able to. So if you've already bought a USB type of stick to install for your own dash cam, uh, don't worry if it's not the endurance kind, it will still work. It's just not gonna have as many write cycles as this endurance style will have. Uh, it may last you a year or two, that's fine. They're cheap enough that you could just replace it with a new one if you need to. This is just a, a longer term solution for uh, recording with dash cams to use this style of endurance SD card. Uh, don't feel bad if you, if you don't have one, uh, but it is the best thing to use for this style of recording. Man, I can't get over how amazing this car is. Everything about it, the way it drives, the way it looks, just the performance of it, just the tech, everything is just amazing on this car. Guys, if you feel like you are ready to take the, the plunge and, and get a Tesla for yourself, feel free to use my referral code. That'll get you free supercharging and it'll also give me free supercharging, which I would appreciate. Uh, I wanna give a shout out to my friends over in San Diego, Katie, and Tanya they just used my uh, referral code and uh, picked up their standard range uh, model 3 just this last week so congratulations to them and thanks again they're getting free supercharging I'm getting free supercharging it's a win-win for everyone again I hope you found this video useful if you did let me know by hitting that like button below if you want to keep joining me on this journey of learning about EVs and Teslas in general, please consider subscribing. We'll take that journey together, and I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. Hmm. Just going to play video games in my car, you know, because uh, Tesla.